In this lecture, I will explain about cosine law of interference in case of transmitted light. Now, what is cosine law of interference? The optical path difference delta between two reflected rays or between two transmitted rays from the surfaces of a transparent film of thickness T and refractive index mu is given by delta is equal to 2 mu t cos r. So, this delta equal to 2 mu t cos r is said to be cosine law interference. Now, we want to discuss about this cosine law in case of transmitted light. So, oblique incidence of plane wave on a thin film due to transmitted light. Now, for that, consider a thin film GH, G1, H1. GH is the upper surface of the film. G1, H1 is the lower surface of the transparent film of thickness T and refractive index mu. Due to simultaneous refraction and refraction, we obtain two transmitted rays, CT and ET1. Here, a ray of light AB is made to incident on the upper surface GH at the point B. At this place, the light is partly get refracted and partly get transmitted. Here we are considering the transmitted rays. This transmitted ray touches G1H1 that is lower surface of the film at the point C and again it partly gets reflected and partly gets transmitted. So like that CT is the transmitted ray from the upper surface of the film. Now the reflected ray CD again reflects at the upper surface at the point T and it touches the point E of the lower surface G1H1 and exits the film as ET1. Therefore, ET1 is the transmitted ray from the lower surface G1H1 of the transparent film. So, CT is the transmitted ray from the upper surface. ET1 is the transmitted ray from the lower surface. So, here two transmitted rays are exerted from the thin film. Now, in order to calculate the optical path difference between these two transmitted rays, delta equal to from this diagram this optical path difference can be written as delta equal to mu into cd plus de here cd plus de is the distance traveled by the ray within the film cd plus de minus cp mu into cp but for air mu is equal to 1 so cp is the distance traveled by the ray light in air so optical path difference between the two transmitted rays is mu into CD plus DE minus CP. Now, in order to simplify this equation, let us consider refractive index of the film mu from Snell's law. Mu is equal to sine of angle of incidence by sine of angle of refraction. So, in order to determine the sine of angle of incidence, consider the triangle C, P, E. This is the right angle triangle. In this, CP is the opposite side and CE is the hypotenuse. So, sin I is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse. Sin I is equal to CP by CE. Now, consider this triangle CEQ. In this triangle, sin R is equal to QE by CE. So, substituting these two, sin I equal to CP by CE, sin R equal to QE by CE, we will get mu equal to CP by QE. So, which implies CP is equal to mu into QE. Now, from this equations, two equations, from the second equation CP is equal to mu into QE, let us substitute this value in first equation in the place of CP. Then, we will get delta is equal to mu into CT plus DE and in place of CP we are substituting mu into QE. Now on expanding the terms 
this mu into QE is cancelled with minus mu into QE. Therefore, delta equal to mu into CD plus DQ. But CD plus DQ equal to QA. From the diagram, CD plus DQ. But from this triangle, CDI, CD is equal to ID. Therefore, CD plus DQ is nothing but ID plus DQ, which means IQ. So, delta equal to mu into IQ or mu into QA. From the triangle, C, I, Q, cos R is equal to adjacent side by hypotenuse. So, Q, I by C, I. Q, I is the adjacent side and C, I is the hypotenuse. So, Q, I by C, I. Therefore, Q, I is equal to C, I cos R. From this diagram, C, I is nothing but 2T, where T is the thickness of the thin film. So, this is one T and this is another T. Therefore, C i is equal to 2 T. So, delta is equal to mu into C i into cos r. So, delta equal to mu into in place of C i, we are substituting 2 T into cos r. Therefore, the optical path difference delta equal to 2 mu T cos r, which is nothing but cosine law. So, like this, we can derive the relation for cosine law in case of transmitted light from a thin film. Now, here it should be remembered that inside the film, reflection at different points takes place at the surface backed by the rarer medium. Here the reflections are takes place at the surface backed by the rarer medium, that means air. Now, here one reflection, here is air. And here is another reflection, here also air. Therefore, there will be no abrupt phase change of 180 degrees in this case from Stokes law. Therefore, the effective path difference will be delta equal to 2 mu t cos r. So, in case of transmitted light, optical path difference between two transmitted rays is 2 mu t cos r. Whereas, in case of reflected light, it will be 2 mu t cos r plus r minus lambda beta. So, that is the difference. Now, coming to the conditions for maxima. So, we know that for bright fringe or for maximum intensity, the optical path difference must be equal to n lambda, where n is an integer that is 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And lambda is wavelength of incident light. And from the above derivation, as we discussed here, the optical path difference is equal to 2 mu t cos r. So, 2 mu t cos r equal to n lambda. If this condition satisfies, then the film appears bright. But in case of reflected light, if this condition is satisfied, then the film appears dark there. Here it is bright. Now, the condition for minima. The minima occurs when optical path difference is equal to 2n plus r minus 1 into lambda by 2. So, this can be written as 2 mu t cos r equal to 2n plus r minus 1 into lambda by 2. If this condition fulfills, then the film appears dark in transmitted light. Whereas, in case of reflected light, if this condition satisfies, then the film appears bright. So, a film which appears bright in reflected light becomes dark in transmitted light. And the same film so which appears bright in transmitted light is appears as dark in reflected light so that is this is the complementary in transmitted and reflected lights so this is about cosine law interference